All right. Hi, uh, Bess here, and I am going to be showing you a little tour of my bralette design and uh, how I'm installing the elastic band in the band part of the design today. Um, so I'm wearing my first sample and I'm really excited to finish my kind of official samples because this is the one I used to get the kinks out of the design. I just want to give you a little tour, first of all, that um, I've taken the straps in a little bit so they're not going to be quite as wide set. Um, and I believe they're going to be just a touch narrower in um, my size as well. I've also fixed up the armhole and the neck depths so that they're not going to be quite as uh, high, while well, the armhole won't be quite as high on me. Although that's also a problem that's being caused in my sample by the fact that I cut this outer elastic for the armholes too short. I thought I measured it correctly, but I didn't. They're the same length as each other, but they're a little too short, so they're kind of pulling my sample up and riding into my armpits there. So, second sample is going to be um, the official pattern. It's the pattern that's with my testers now. So, I'm making one for myself and one for my girlfriend. Here is my band. Okay. I've, so, I've knit it all up already. And you can see there's a provisional cast on here in this purple yarn, which is going to go all the way around the bottom, right? And then I've knit both halves of the band so that I can fold it up. I'm just like, doesn't want to do on these needles right now. Right here. That'll be the band folded. It's about an inch and a quarter because I'm using one inch wide elastic. So here's my elastic on the spool. This is knitted elastic. And um, in order to measure it, I'm gonna show you how I measure. I'm gonna wrap around, right, my underbust. And what you want is not for it to like fit perfectly. You want it to stretch, right? So I recommend that you make sure your elastic fits um, at like a comfortable pressure around you before you cut it. This is feeling pretty good. Okay, so I've cut my elastic. Um, again, now the band of your bralette should be smaller than the actual underbust measurement of your body, right? And your elastic might even be a smaller measurement than that because you want the elastic to hug you. This is where a lot of the support of the bralette is coming from, is the elastic encased around the edgings, including the band. So um, I do recommend, right, if you're if you need to change band size for your upper bust measurement, if your upper bust puts you in one size, that's the size you should knit for the bra. But if your band size is very different, you might want to knit a different size band and just um, add increases or subtract some of the increases, like from the sides, in order to make the math still work to be the same as a full bust, okay? So just another note. There are notes about modifying in the pattern. But one more thing, so this band, I've cut it. When I cut it a little long still, so that when I wrap it around myself, it's going to be able to stretch, right? And I'm wrapping it around this bra, so I'm even gonna go under it to make sure. I would recommend that you don't go over an undergarment, that you go just right around your underbust. And what I want is for the two ends to overlap about a quarter inch. They're overlapping more than an inch now. So I'm gonna trim the end a little bit and take like a half inch off. And that'll be the right 
elastic for me. So what I'm gonna do off camera is sew this elastic with the ends overlapping a little bit. I'm gonna make a box all around the edge of the elastic and make an X through. Okay, so I've got the next step done here. And I sewed this elastic with a little X, right? So I am not an expert sewist. And um, I just wanna show you, you can't see it great, but you can see it enough. Here is that little X. I overlapped the ends and just sewed all the way around, nice and secure. Um, special shout out to Jillian, who uh, told me the best sewing way to connect both elastics. So the next step, here's uh, my other sample I'm working on for Candice, and you can see the contrast trim a little more easily on this one, the provisional cast on. All right, so the next step is gonna be to start unraveling the provisional cast on and putting this onto another set of needles so that I can fold this up around my sewn band, right? So it's tricky to show you this on the needles, but I'm going to put this elastic inside of the band and just fold around it. And that's it, right? So once these provisionally cast on stitches are on a needle, then I'll be knitting these two sides together around the elastic. And you can see how the elastic really kind of brings this to life. So my trick with the provisional cast on is to make a longer chain on the side that you're gonna unravel from than on the side where you started. And I just make a really big loop and sometimes not that loop, but that shows me which side I'm gonna start undoing the chain from. And uh, you'll know it's the right side because you'll be able to undo the chain. This yarn is sticking to itself, which can be a, there we go. All right, so I'm not gonna go any further because I need to grab another needle and I'm gonna put them Okay. Off camera. So I've saved just the last few stitches here because I want to show you how I do this provisional cast on. So hopefully you can get an okay view here. Um, this is the needle that I'm picking up the stitches with. And here's the tail, which is now very long because I've got in most of my like almost 300 stitches onto the needle. So, okay. Okay, here we go. So I've got this purple thread that I'm going to be pulling out and I've got my needle and what I'm going to do is slide into the stitch that I want to grab and then pull. So I've got a few more to do here. I'm going to slide in then pull the chain. And as long as I haven't gone through the uh, cast on yarn there, it's gonna pull out for me really easily. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep on going. And because I'm doing this backwards to show you, I am not getting it through quite as perfectly. There we go. So really I'm looking to just go through that loop that I'm gonna grab and then pull out the crochet chain. Through there and pull. And through here again and pull. Right, until all of these stitches are on the needle. So I've just got, hey, so I'm ready for the next piece. I have my band, it is on two sets of needles, right? Um, and I am gonna fold it up to bring 
those provisionally cast on stitches behind my um, working yard and current row. I'm gonna get that arranged and tightened. Now it's like a little fussy because I have all these needles around and I'll usually just try and get them out of the way as much as I can and push all the stitches up so they're ready to go here. And I'm just kind of going and flipping this, right? And before I start knitting, I have to put the elastic in. So now I'm it kind of arranged. I'm gonna open this section back up and put the elastic in between. And it doesn't have to be in between the whole thing. It just has to be in between where it's going right now. Just like that. And I'm not gonna worry about the end hanging out because by the time I get around to it, it'll be fine. I'm just gonna tuck in to the working area between the needles. Okay, now I am going to knit the stitches together like you would with any fold over band. One from the front needle and one from the back. And I try and get the orientation of those back stitches right, but at the end of the day, if they're twisted, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna take those two off. So, okay, technically I'm now joined. I'm now around the band with just that one stitch. So through the front and then through the back. Then I'm gonna pull the yarn, wrap it, take it through and bring the stitches off. I'm gonna do that all the way around, but I've only done about four stitches here so far. It is gonna be a lengthy process, right? But even just with these four stitches, see, this elastic is in there. And um, the trickiest part is that for me, my elastic is a little shorter than like the standard circular needles that I have. So as I get around, I'm gonna have to do some magic loop to keep it in there. But you know, I'm just bunching up the stitches and I'm gonna go through the front and through the back bring my yarn through both and push them off. That's it. Just showing you that it actually works. <laughs> so I have only this much left, much less than half. And as I've gone around, you see it just tucks on in. So when I finish up these last stitches, this band is just gonna disappear into the fold. Seems like it's not gonna work at times, but it works. All you have to do is just keep tugging in and going around. And uh, those are my pearl stitches at the bottom. I'll be right back with this all done. All right, it's done. Here is the needle that the crochet provisional cast on got put onto. And here it is. Here is my band. So the elastic inside there you know, I forgot to check the schematic. The elastic may have actually been a little bit longer than the band itself. You can see that it's kind of like sitting in there a little bit rippled right now. Let's see if I can get this focus. There we go. It's a little bit rippled in here now. However, when I block this and soak the wool, it's gonna stretch to be just perfect around the band. And this band is now not as wide around as my actual body. So when I put it on, it will stretch and it will fit me just like this one. That's it. Now you've installed your band and uh, I'm gonna do it all again on Candace's. I hope this video was helpful and maybe inspired you to start playing with some fine finishing techniques in your knits. Uh, this elastic really allows my Carol bralette design to give you support. And there will be another video for installing 
the arm and neck hole elastics. That'll be coming up when I get to that part of knitting this sample <laughs> in the next week or so. So until then, happy knitting y'all. Hey y'all, bonus content today. It's the next day and um, so I've already gotten into a few increase rounds after installing the band and I did install both bands to both of the bralettes I'm working on. But I wanted to show you because after the band is installed, it kind of holds the stitches on your needles in a way that can make it tricky to knit. And like I said, this one is already a little past that point. But I wanna show you what I do for the first few rounds and anytime that you need it, right? Instead of grabbing like a 60 inch needle for Magic Loop, what I'm gonna do is just grab the cable here right next to the needle. I use the right needle and I'm just gonna pull a loop out like this. And now I can bunch up the stitches and I can just knit around easily the way that we want to when we knit in the round, you know? So if you're experiencing that after you get the band in, that is your answer. You don't need to do a full magic loop. I'll just pull it out here and then I'll knit as much as I can and then uh, do the same thing when I get back around to the, uh, to the loop. Pull out another loop from the right needle and just keep going. So the loop won't ever be in the same exact place. And so it's not gonna create tension in one area like ladders the way that it does sometimes when we use two circulars or magic loop. And uh, you don't have too much knitting in the round once the band is installed. You know, you do your bust increases and then you'll be casting off for the back in a couple inches anyway. So happy knitting.